Howdy. Uh, today I'm going to give you the specifics on my uh, old Ford pickup. It's a 1972 Ford F-250. Um, it's got overload springs on it. It uh, has a uh, FE390 big block. Um, it's got about 140,000 miles. Um, originally it was my Grand Aunt Grace's. Um, she bought it in Nampa, Idaho back in 1972. I even have the original papers for it. Um, then she gave it to uh, my grandfather, Grandpa Mel, and uh, then he gave it to my dad, Randall, uh, back in 2008, and my dad didn't really. My dad grew up with it because he got it when he was about 18, and uh, he said he got uh, about 13 miles per gallon with it back then. Um, she gets about 17 now on the highway at about 60 mile an hour. Um, and then I bought the truck from my dad back in 2008 uh, for about $1,800, which is a steal for this truck because obviously she's in pretty good shape. The paint buffed out real good and cleaned up. And uh, yeah, it's pretty sweet. Uh, Two-wheel drive course, twin I-beam suspension. Um, there's just a few things done to it. Um, I've got, first things first, uh, motor-wise, it's got a, uh, like I said, an FE390. Um, did a manifold swap on it. It's got a four-well manifold, intake manifold. It's a uh, Edelbrock Performer, um, pan it ceramic Ford Blue. It's got a Edelbrock 750 CFM carburetor on there, a Canon uh, air filter, and the Edelbrock uh, cap for it. Makes it look pretty. Optimum battery with the battery disconnect. Got a MSD blaster coil with uh, eight millimeter wires. Kind of dirty in here, needs to be a little bit cleaned up. Flex light fan, electronic ignition, air compressor for my Caterpillar air horns. I used to work at Cat, so I bought these when I was there working there. They're down there. They're pretty loud. I'll honk those for you guys. Um, let's see. I've got dual three inch pipes with full length headers. Uh, yeah, the collector's three inch as well. <sighs> Dual three inch pipes all the way to the back under the bumper. And uh, yeah, they barely fit underneath there when they shotgunned them down there. But uh, yeah, those things are starting to look pretty ugly. I'll put some high heat paint. Polyurethane bushings. Everything underneath is black. There's not really any rust underneath it at all. It's just winter here, so it's kind of dirty. But um, it's got a 373 rear end. Of course, two wheel drive. I probably already said that. And I have three and a half inch stainless steel tips that are kind of dirty now, but they actually clean up really nice and pretty. But as you can see, they. Hey, come on now, you son of a. Two or three inch pipes. Dana 60. Yeah, they're pretty big. Um, eventually, I'll rebuild this truck here probably this summer. Put the prison brake kit from uh, SCAT crankshafts in here, which is a four and a quarter stroke. And uh, I'll probably have to bore it 20 over because it's only got about 120 PSI compression. Um, I'll start for you guys. This thing's having a hard time focusing here. Don't know what the hell the problem is here, but there you go. Um, yeah, cab's pretty much stock inside. I do have a CV with PA on it. Uh, works pretty cool. Turn it on here. You can hear it when you click the button here. Yeah, it's pretty loud. I'll honk those air horns for you real quick here, so you can hear what they sound like. If I can just operate my life. Yeah, it's pretty loud. And then to start it. Um, of course, it's it's been run just about 10 minutes ago, so because I'm going to take it here in a little bit down to the gas station, but you just want to give it a little bit of gas. And she idles pretty happy. Everything works inside. Uh, blinkers work, all that fun stuff. So, got a nice little tack on there. So, this has the motor inside is stock, so I still got a stock cam, which pretty much wheezes out about 4,500 RPM, which is where I shift this. I got a C6 in here with a uh, BM valve body, so I've got full manual control, and it will also shift on its own in drive. Um, but it will not upshift if I stomp it in drive, it will just stay in whatever gear it's been sitting in. So, um, got good oil pressure. Temps warm, obviously. So, uh, yeah, all the lights work. It's pretty cool. You can see that. And the blinkers work as well. Pretty straight truck. 
142,000 miles on her. So you can see that here. Yeah, there you go, 142.80. Anyway, I love my truck. It's really reliable. Most of these old trucks are. Um, I got it back in 2008 and it sat for a long time. So it just took a little bit of rubbing and a little bit of loving. And uh, she came back. Been real happy ever since. A little bit of a knock that you can hear is actually my fuel pump. Um, it's wearing out, but I've actually got a, uh, a Carter 100, uh, 100 gallon per hour pump. It's actually gonna go right there. That's my fuel line and ran it back there. Try to keep it off the motor. So it did get to run between the water pump there and the timing cover and just get hot. So a little bit better, but I will rebuild her, like I said, and uh, in the summer and she'll uh, get a fresh crank comes with the rods and everything for about 1800 bucks or 20 over so it'll be about a 432 cubic inch and should make about 550 foot pounds and that's it